Welcome to the Progress ASP.NET Core Tag Helpers tutorial series. If you've never used Tag Helpers before, you're in the right place. This series highlights the basics and shows you some practical examples for solving your toughest UI challenges with Tag Helpers. Joining us later in the series is Ed Charbonneau, a Microsoft MVP in Developer Technologies and a Senior Developer Advocate at Progress. And I'm Scott Addy, a senior content developer for the ASP.NET Core product at docs.microsoft.com. Let's get started. Consider a basic example we've all probably encountered either in MVC or Razor Pages projects. HTML helpers existed in ASP.NET proper and were ported over to ASP.NET Core. This is the default index Razor file with a label HTML helper. It's responsible for rendering an HTML label element. Applied to it is a caption CSS class and some first name colon label text. In which circumstances does an HTML helper become less than desirable? Let's take a look. Traditional web design teams specialize in the three pillars of the web, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Suddenly the designers need to learn C Sharp and Razor syntax, all because HTML helpers are .NET method invocations inside of Razor files? Also notice in this example that an anonymous C Sharp object is declared to assign a CSS class. That anonymous object can be a productivity bottleneck. Your IDE or editor cannot predict what you intend to do, therefore IntelliSense is simply unavailable. Also, the C Sharp language has reserved keywords, such as class. Class is supposed to be interpreted as a property name in this particular example, so an at sign is needed. Another productivity killer is context switching. Wouldn't you rather stick to one language within a razor file? That constant weaving in and out of HTML and C Sharp adds noise and makes it difficult to reason about what's really going on in the razor file. What are tag helpers and how do they ease the pain? A tag helper is an ASP.NET Core feature for using HTML elements and attributes to trigger server-side processing. You write what looks like HTML and c -sharp code is executed. Syntactically, this is similar to Angular components or even React JSX components. Tag helpers can attach to existing HTML elements, for example, the input element, to extend its feature set. Support for IntelliSense is far superior to that of HTML helpers. A tag helper is implemented as a C -sharp class. You assign an HTML element name used to invoke that C -sharp class, and each public property within that class can become an HTML attribute. And finally, that context switching problem has completely disappeared. The HTML helpers C Sharp and Razor syntax has been replaced with HTML syntax. Consider this HTML image tag example. ASP.NET Core ships with an image tag helper that understands the standard HTML SRC attribute or source attribute. The tag helper extends the standard HTML image tag feature set by introducing an ASP append version attribute. An SVG file path is provided to that standard source attribute. The ASP append version attribute is added to enable cache busting of this static resource. We know this tag helper ships with ASP.NET Core because of the ASP dash prefixed attribute. Notice that the rendered markup includes a unique file version in the query string. The ASP append version attribute doesn't appear in the rendered markup. It was merely a trigger to execute some C Sharp code when set to true. A side by side comparison of a form implementation in a Razor file is more often than not enough to sell a developer on this concept of tag helpers. On the left, you see a form built using HTML helpers. On the right, you see that same form built using tag helpers instead. Either approach is supported in ASP.NET Core, let's be very clear about that. 
However, I think we can all agree that the form on the right side is much cleaner. Now that you have a basic understanding of tag helpers, it's time to build something. In the next module, Ed will provide an overview of a dashboard application that will be built using the Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core library.